Well, when you think of Las Vegas, bright lights, big shows, Lady Luck may even come to mind. Well, there is so much more to this amazing city, including some amazing cuisine. And Anywhere, Anytime Journeys, Brad Martin, as well as Joel Peterson with the Las Vegas Convention and Visitors Authority are joining me now. Hey, guys. Hey, Heather. How are you? Okay, so we're talking all things Vegas today. Have you been? I've been. A few times? A few times. I'm, <laughs> I'm going again in May. Really? So what is it about Vegas that, that's appealing to, to people to go check out? You know, people, you always think Vegas is gambling, drinking, and the shows. Buffets. But, yeah, buffet, buffets, yeah. But things have changed, and there's a lot to be up. Uh, there's a lot for multiple generations, and that's where the travel professional can get you the right hotel for uh, where you want to be. Well, exactly, because you know all the ins and outs and can guide people. Definitely go check this out, avoid this area, those kind of things. Right, and set the right hotel with the, the guests that are staying, because there's so many different varieties of hotels. Okay, and so we've got our friend Joel here, who knows all things um, Vegas. So today we're kind of focusing on the culinary aspect of Vegas because there are a lot of great um, food destinations there in the city. You bet. So we have thousands of restaurants and we've really evolved now as a culinary powerhouse of the city. Um, there's many different ways you can experience the destination in the foodie side. There's foodie tours and there's places that you only can find in Las Vegas. We've got restaurants at Top of the World at the Strat. You've got a restaurant at Top of the Eiffel Tower at Paris. So we really focus on unique dining experiences. But now we have such an abundance of celebrity chefs that are in Las Vegas as well that not just have one but multiple restaurants that our visitors can enjoy now. Yeah, who was it that I was reading about? Um, Gordon Ramsay? Yes. Hell's Kitchen? You'll just be like you're right there in one of the episodes on TV. <laughs> Someone like that, yes. <laughs> he is on a full-length video board as you enter the restaurant, so I think he's somewhat kind with his words. But <laughs> in their first few, first week they opened up, they took 15,000 restaurant reservations oh uh, a couple years ago. So it's right on the strip. You can't miss it right in front of Caesar's Palace. Okay, so we, we quickly mentioned the lip-smacking foodie tours. Yeah. What would be the advantage of going on a foodie tour rather than just saying, okay, I want to go here or here? So the foodie tour organizes it. Everything is... Um, with your tables in advance, so, which is great is you don't, you don't have to worry about waiting. You're with a group. You're also able to try all the signature dishes across multiple restaurants. So not only is your tour guide kind of giving you a little uh, tidbits and history of Las Vegas, um, but you get a great VIP dining experience along with it. And which of these restaurants seems most appealing to you? Well, me being a food person, all of them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the type that would try, try them all. And I have, when I go to Vegas, I never go to the same restaurant twice. Because there's so many to pick from. Right, and so it's, it's hard to make a decision. Well, and being right now in the middle of a pandemic, is now the time to go to Vegas? Are these restaurants open and, and serving visitors, or should we kind of, like, hold off for a month or so? Vegas is open now, and people are traveling there. Um, in fact, I just booked somebody for October. I was working on a uh, Vegas reservation today for October. Vegas is a place to go right now. Is my, I mean, it's a safe place. And earlier you mentioned multi-generational. Mm -hmm. Let's talk a little bit about what that means specifically to Las Vegas. Well, I'll, I'll let Joel really go into that since that's his expertise. Yeah. So, we, so we love to have restaurants that are, um, are appealing to families. So black, black top, um, black tap craft is a restaurant over at the venetian hotel that has milkshakes about this big so um, we really kind of specialize on uh, couples that are looking to um, have a great dining experience but also families as well uh, as they're out as well so well yeah i've been to vegas once and for me honestly that was probably once enough to experience everything it has to offer however now thinking about all this stuff that i may have missed out on seems like now's the time to go check it out yeah i'm not a gambler and i'm not a, a drinker so I, I go and there's other things to do you know so yeah lots of things to see right and experience <laughs> would you recommend families to go to vegas or kind of wait until maybe they're a little older and can really appreciate all that vegas has to offer um my thing is i would say wait but the, i mean there's because there is, like I said, it's multi-generational. It depends on what you're going there to do. Because besides foodies, we could always have another segment on going to the national parks. Right, because you can get to see a little bit of um, the country and, and get cultured that way. Right. All right. Well, if you need to make plans to head to Las Vegas and